to yeah. say that we're a little wary of pg e is like kind of an understatement. <laughs> the sheriff went by in the road and said, there's a big fire coming, uh, you need to evacuate. So, you know, first we throw the animals in the car and then start throwing a few things in the car. And then the sheriff came back and said, you know, uh, you need to evacuate immediately. And you could see the glow of Glen Ellen burning and I could hear, you know, propane tanks exploding. And, you know, I briefly thought about trying to stay and fight it with a garden hose because you occasionally hear stories of people that do that and save their house. But it's like, you know, in retrospect, I probably would have died. You never think you're not going to come back. Like, yeah. even at that moment, it's like, yeah, yeah. it didn't feel real. We never feel safe. Like there's still a part that's always going to feel edgy. The one year anniversary, I ran away. Like I went up to Ashland, I went to a place that was green and you know wet and I just didn't want to be here reliving it all. And two year, I was more like, okay, I think I'll be all right. You know, I think, I think I'm in a better headspace for it. Um, and then they started warning us about winds and warmth and that combination of hot air and hot, you know, and the winds moving definitely was, was very uh, Yeah, intense. just kind of raised the anxiety. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, anxiety producing. After the fire in 2017, everybody said, why didn't they just shut off the power if they knew there was all this wind? And so now they did. And then people complaining because they did, you know, and I don't, I think there's enough unpredictability in the world that, you know, that I can look at it and say, well, they, they were doing the best they could with the information they had. I know in talking to people, too, some people were angry that one of the pg e reps was almost not flippant about it, but, you know, like it's just it's an inconvenience. Get over it. When you hear of a story of somebody who died like 12 minutes after the power went out, it, it's more than that. It's not an easy call because certainly I wouldn't want anybody else to go through what we went through. It's hard to hear of other fires and other, you know, when you start adding up all the other people that you know at this minute are spinning because their world has just gotten dumped upside down.